Alright, welcome back. We're going to play some more one-shot. So we're going to launch one-shot. Who knows what will happen when we launch one-shot. One-shot seems to kind of like to do its own thing whenever the game starts. It doesn't just go to a menu. Sometimes. Point in case. Another dream sequence. Oh, do I have to click? Thing happening? Oh, okay. Key press. Pancakes. Yum, pancakes. I should minimize OBS. Nice dream. Anthony? You're not gonna go to the system tray. I'm just gonna close you and then I'm gonna check that you're in the system tray. No. Okay, whatever, you'll stay in the taskbar. It's not like I'm gonna show my desktop the entire time anyway, just become just when it becomes relevant. Anthony? I had another dream. Mama was there. See her. The game's not gonna let me lie. She made me pancakes. It was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. You have a birthday too? Yeah. Oh. And what's your favorite food? Pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? I do like pancakes. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. Mama makes the best pancakes. Mine does too. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yeah, I do. Oh, do they share their food with you? Not really. Not very nice of them. Well, I just don't visit them very often. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. One also takes turns doing chores and watching little kids. I don't really... I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. Miss nice, everyone. I've been gone for a while, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. It still concerns me that this game is called One Shot. What am I going to have One Shot at? I don't like that. That's, that's a bit, um... Concerning. Okay, so we're back here. I think last time I pretty much insto um, I pretty much looked through all of these four corridors, so there must be something I'm missing yet. What do we still have open? There's the film strip that I don't know what to do with. And there's... There might be some more over here, because this was a pretty large area. Let's explore over here some more. A lot of apartments and stuff. I really appreciate this game's art style. I went down here before, right? Doors locked from the inside. Wasn't there like a bathroom down there last time I played? I don't remember. Maybe that was down a different set of stairs. I mean, there are all these doors here, right? And the one that's red is the one that you can go inside. I don't think I missed anything in here, though. It'd be kind of cruel for the game to hide something really important in one of these rooms that just don't seem significant. I suppose I can check the computer one time. It's off, still. Just checking because I know that those are interactable elements. are kind of important. It's creepy that the music down here is different. If you go in here, like go in any of these rooms, I kind of doubt it. I'm gonna hit enter on all of them anyway. Just trying to remember what our loose ends are. 
there was a key, or not a key, um, scissors in that hair, I remember that. We wash our hands. Sink. I know, wash your hands with it. Plant. Small potted plant. That's literally all there is here. Is there nothing else of significance? Wonder who cut their hair in the bathroom. I'm gonna go all the way back to the end of this. Actually, I'm gonna go down here first. Coffee machine. I figure I can't read these. This game isn't gonna be like a missed game. Looks like I can unlatch this door. Oh! We can. Okay, so that's a shortcut. That's where that goes. I get it. Photograph the mines. Many robots that work in the photo, extracting large deposits of ore. Too bad all we can see is a gray square. Graph of the tower. The sunlight makes it hard to make out much in this photo. It's overexposed. There. Hello. The Messiah. Like your scarf. Strange thing to say, hey? Or I like her needlework. Go when I see her again. Mom, a strange TV man likes my scarf and complimented your needlework. Graph of some railings. I wonder how Nico's gonna make it back home. And if she will make it back home. I kinda hope she does, because the game implies that's what she wants. Did I wrap everything up here? Because this room was important. Hearts are stretching towards the sun. It's told the sun. Uh. Foliage is hard to come by now. Hardly ever see trees like this in the wild anymore. And the ones you do see are all are pretty much all raised artificially by people like me, mostly for nostalgia purposes. All locked. This is the point in the game where I'm just gonna have to retread some ground because I've I think I've done everything, but I must be missing something because I don't know how to progress. I'll visit briefly the other two areas. Oh, like, coffee shop and such. And, like, giant time machine looking thing. Because those must be important, I just haven't put the pieces together. There's also the film strip. I guess that must be important. That's another thing that was given to us by the computer. Yeah, a weird film. Transparent sheet filled with numbers. Which is odd. It's a film, right? It was given to us by the computer. Is something gonna happen to my videos folder? I only say this because maybe my videos folder, it's a film, right? Or maybe it's a photo, like a photo film? Like, because it's a light-sensitive film? My pictures folder has a has way too many pictures in it. 
mostly just screenshots that I've haven't deleted. Nowadays, I use the. When, I've learned the trick where with Discord you can just hit Control plus V, and it'll so you can hit print screen on your keyboard, and then in Discord you can just hit Control plus V in the text box, and it'll paste the photo that you just print screened. But I didn't know that before, so I always had to open Paint.net and paste it in there and save it out. No, you don't have to do that. Time here is precious. Please do cherish it. I will. We are at the time machine room. I still don't get this. Still clueless. Figures. Want another tip. Fine, keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm gonna check my videos folder. I want to see if there's a video in there then. No. What if I go pictures and I choose most recent? And yeah, I have way too much stuff in here. As I said, I need to go through and delete it all. There's very few photos in here that are actually needed. I have my logo and stuff, and I just have game screenshots and screen screenshots and stuff. So it's going to sort that by date. I suppose it could be worse. That's a picture of uh, my desktop from before. Yes, I want to use that. Use I want to use a proper picture view. To... Obviously, this isn't the clue. I don't see anything new here. I don't see a folder it would be in. Film strip. It's not going to be in music, right? Or documents, if it's a film strip. What is the puzzle? Because it's a computer, right? Every time we've seen a computer, it affects my real computer. So what's the puzzle? I don't see anything out of the ordinary with my desktop. Okay, give me a hint. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of the, your viewport, where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's the window, the game window. Pass the film through the void and back again. Oh. Oh. I have to get the film through the game window? How, though? I can't just click and drag it. Dragging the game doesn't make any sense. Dragging the game? Any difference? No. I have to... If I'm interpreting this correctly, I have to pass the film through the game window? I can't resize the game window in any fashion. And she's always center on the screen, Nico is. So it's not like I can literally bring the film to the corner of the screen even if she was holding it out. It's an odd puzzle. 
I don't want to ask the computer again because they're always mean. <laughs> they don't like me. How else do you do that, though? I kind of get what it's saying. No, really. Do I have to minimize the game with the weird film on it? Do I have to pass something over the film? I clearly must need this to progress, because I can't think of any other loose end, so what is the puzzle? And does it have anything to do with this time machine type thing? In a specific location. There's nothing up here, it's just the roof. So weird. Why would you even include that? Well, you know what? Maybe it has to be in daylight for it to work, because it's film. I don't know, I'm just thinking. Clicking on it, interacting it with it in any way doesn't do anything. Can I combine it with a different item? No, it just doesn't let me. Transparent sheet filled with nuts. See, it suggests that I have to- maybe I have to put something behind the window. That isn't my desktop. Because it's transparent, right? If it's a transparent sheet... No. Oh! Oh! You have to click and drag it to the edge of the screen. 63014. I'm gonna note that down on a piece of paper because I'm fashioned. Oh. Wasn't that. That's not that hard actually. That's fairly obvious. It was just pretty. me being a bit dumb. Okay. Rendered the film. So that's a number. I don't know where I have to use it though. Is it to be used on this machine up here? Because that's my next thought. Is it to be used up here? Small screen in the middle. But I can't interact with it at all. Okay, so if there's any kind of keypad or something, now I know. 63014. What was over here again? This was the coffee shop, right? They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use them. Actually, now that I solved the puzzle, maybe I should go back to the computer. Oh, is it turned off? 
screen is off. I would have never figured that out without the hint. So at least I had the hint. I'm glad I didn't take the full answer. Because it was nice to figure it out. What does this say again? Right. We to use. And that one is fully operational. Right, the bottom one is the one that goes to the coffee shop. I don't know where the keypad I'm supposed to use is. Maybe it's the elevator keypad. I have the key now, but don't know the lock. Oh yeah, this was not a keypad, it was just a missing button. How come there aren't any broken wires inside the empty slot? Well, I'm no engineer, but it's powered by some kind of magnetic technology, I know this much. Magnetic? Can I use a magnet? I have magnets. The band said something about magnets, but I don't see a way to fit these in the panel by themselves. Can I cut the magnets? No, even though they... So you can't cut the magnets. I thought maybe because she said they don't fit by themselves, that, that it would be a thing. Maybe if I put them in the can? Magnets don't stick to aluminum. I don't think anything else I have can fix that. Okay. Noted. It's magnets related. So I need a way to fit the magnets into the button-shaped slot. Or make the magnets appear as a button that can be used. Tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I've seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. Um, he didn't get it. Well, I get it. Uh, it's just an okay pun, I guess. Or is it a pun? I guess it is a pun. Where do I input this number? Can't combine... Which... Can I combine any of these? They don't stick to a loop. Um, can't combine those. Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. Oh, okay. I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. Just like arts and crafts. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Let's find out. Button? A simple button made from a coffee tin. It's funny, it says ground, because it's ground coffee. <laughs> oh, that's great. I like that. That's clever. Don't stick to aluminum, but what if I just folded the magnets over this edge? It's holding together, if just barely. I hope that's good enough? Okay. Maybe I can use this in conjunction with the stapler. Or tape. Or something. To make it more complete. That's my thought now. Right? Now I'm learning. If in doubt, combine items. Combining items is very useful. Stapler. 
Use this. Stapler. Use this. Tape dispenser. Oh, of course, I gotta tape it together or it might fall apart. Good thinking, Anthony. See, there we go. Taped button. Can I now use this with the stapler to make it even better? No. Okay. Not necessary. Maybe right now it's not necessary, and in the future it will be. We're just like engineers or something. Let's hope this works. Deactivating elevator services. Please input security code, aha, to continue. What? That's never happened to me before. The squares? Huh. You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, no, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. Then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. I guess we should go look for a code, Anthony. I already know the code. <laughs> so I was supposed to find that after. Okay. Now I know where the lock is. What? It works! I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. Genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Anthony, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. I don't think that I would ever say to anyone that I thought was a messiah, oh yeah, the whole messiah business. But okay. Thank you for holding the elevator door open for me, mister. No problems, Hoffin. See, there's something... Security code is not a normal part of the world, right? Because the squares... The squares happened, and then it was all uppercase like it was a computer talking. So that's a computery thing, right? Nothing... There is taking a while. Gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the messiah, and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. Heard me. I mean, sure. Okay, Anthony, should I ask about his job? Ask about his city? Ask about the library? Or resume awkward silence? <laughs> well, I don't think resuming awkward silence is an option. Let's ask about this city, just because it pertains the most to us. The city is very big. Smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First there was the refugees from the barons, and now more Glen folks are moving in, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff we just saw? We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. Noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. The library. I'll save the job talk for last. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. These reading lights are pretty high maintenance, but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Anthony. Ask about his job. You do your job. He's a delivery guy. Seem really busy. I, uh, fix lights mostly. Oh. Um, but now I also deliver. Okay. And refill high energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Oh, we used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down, so until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. Robots get fixed. I have no idea, it's all up to scientists over at the labs. They seem really concerned about something else lately. 
Oh, never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Just closing my window. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Uh, Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Run now. He seems in a hurry. I guess you should hurry too, Anthony. People are counting on us. Let's go find the library. Kind of suspicious that he would just run away on us like that, but maybe he has a lot to do for his job. And he did feel pretty awkward as far as I can understand it. Shady back alley. See what happened. I did. Vision went blank for a second. And I saw something. Short dream. I wonder what that was about. I feel like we shouldn't be down here yet. Let's turn around and go back to the main city. That looks kind of dangerous. Wow, this looks like a big area, actually. <laughs> this looks like this is going to be a lot to explore. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. I'm, I'm going to get so confused by this area. The world ends would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away. To be honest, I'd rather the former. The library. What? Don't say anything. Stop staring at me then. Book? Yes. Library. There's books in the library. Go bug the chatty one upstairs. Okay, jeez. I'll go upstairs. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow! Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Let's pick up. is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. She is concentrating on her work. She will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Go get her in person then. This post is not in my programming. Can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha. Thanks. Deep in concentration. Not sure I really want to interrupt, but okay. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for th further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Not picking up. I 
figured. Sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Even in an emergency, my programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Just walk through, it's an emergency situation. Okay. I take it the people here don't like being interrupted. Be off. I'm only really concerned about the ones that are on, apparently. On my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. But I have to stay awake! I need to find out how this book ends. Um, trust the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. The author, hey? So all of the books in the library are by one person. Um, doing to that book. Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. How come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. Really, I don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author's just going to write about the same thing, and then everyone will love it. But he's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh... I mean, I ain't Hayden. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. The guy's got major talent. It hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. See that. They call me a cat all the time! Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And mousers. Oh, people don't think I eat mice. I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. It's completely placed on the shelf. We can't read them. This game isn't going to give us a lot of bookshelves and then each one has books you have to read. It just wants to have bookshelves for decoration, and that's okay. Oh, big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphorus. Okay, so the book has a clover. That means it's readable. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If a phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of high energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Boost Phosphor Blue Phosphor, Location of the Barons. Out of the common phosphors, blue phosphor is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in metallic sand of the barons. The organic form is most commonly found in phosphor shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphor is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a baseline level of activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphor. Location, the Glen. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is of the highest energy. It is also the rarest of common phosphors, as it is going to be only found in organic form. Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the ubiquitous ground-covering moss in the glen, it is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use, however, due to its relative scarcity and past over-harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals of the glen still have enough to get by. Red Phosphor. Location, the Refuge. Out of the common phosphors, red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute red phosphor is abundant in the city's water channels, can be concentrated, and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this supersaturated super solution precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently.
look kind of similar to my journal. Big book with black over on the cover. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Phosphor Shrimp. Also known as seed shrimp in certain vernaculars, due to the shape of their transparent coat, these aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the oceans surrounding the barrens. Dorsal phosphor glands, uh, half a centimeter, and one centimeter abdominal phosphor organ, common firefly. A nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow, sometimes captured en masse and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. Gother publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost human pace. In fact, he's put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written but not yet published. I cannot help to wonder where he gets so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he stopped time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. Maybe he has ghost writers. Who knows? Maybe he just reviews books made by ghostwriters. That seems a little bit more reasonable than a time machine. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? That librarian just released a bunch last week! Oh. They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. They're kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. What about the author? I don't know. You read his stuff yet? If not, you should. The author. Everyone just refers to him as the author. I can't get to that guy. He seems busy anyway. He is the author. It's it, it kind of reminds me of in, in Vegas how there's the hotel. It's the one. There's the only the one. Doesn't really matter that there are others because this is the one. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. He's focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh. They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Huh. A pile of books on the ground. Probably by the author, then... In that case... The off... Yeah, do you need directions? Let's see, this area is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and, uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Are you here to look for the author, then? No. Oh, that's good. Oh. Here, I'll just pause. Um. Not very much left. Pretty much all of it. <clears throat> okay, back to this. Just helping my sister get paper. <laughs> oh, that's good. I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him, not even once. First, together with the head librarian on publishing, so you think he'd show up at least once in a while. Something suspicious about this author person. But he doesn't? Yeah, it seems kind of, he seems kind of reclusive, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. He's just around people. I don't trust the author. I think that something's up with the guy. But there's a lot of city to explore. I still haven't taken most of these paths. What's back around here? Nothing, apparently. Just a dock. Okay, never mind. There's nothing to explore. The city is so empty. Why did I even bother coming here? Is there anything over here, at least? No. It's the same pattern. Alright, thanks for making me walk. Oh yeah, I can run. I always forget that.
Wait, did I miss something over here? Okay, this just goes back to the city. This is quite confusing. Hello? Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No? Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Aren't you a kid? I'm a robot. Right. They're not really programmed with that much knowledge. It's just there to sell the news. I'm ignoring that other pathway on purpose. Let's go left first. Hi. Beep boop. Beep boop. Hi. You alright? Ah, oh, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? Think? I think I should listen to Anthony. After all, Anthony helped me get this far. Take your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Well, you know, I sure hope that you can fix the world and that it wasn't all for naught. There's still a button to go back up, so I suppose it's an option at our disposal. All right, I've been putting it off, but let's go back up here. I didn't want to, 